What you see here is the gear necessary for taking trophy whitetails. We have the blind and some chairs and this very nice Dodge Ram. We also have a backpack with some rattling horns, some stiff cut gloves and a 30-06 Ticket T3. The peanut then, butter and jam sandwich. This is Ben the Graf's weapon of choice and second to that is my 300 Win Meg Ram Sendero, which is my weapon of choice. It is more capable than the 30 out 6, but Ben de Graff will not admit that. This is Ben's vehicle of choice, a 2007 GMC CR 1500 with 4 inch lift and dirt tracks Wranglers. Mine is a stock 2008 half ton with hand cooked Dynapros, no lift kit necessary. Suspension air lift in the back, you liar. Oh yes, I have the uh, air, air bag air suspension. For hauling heavy moose. It is going to be a good hunt, I can smell it. There's deer feces and urine everywhere. I can't smell anything. <laughs> hey, I did myself. We are just waiting for Ryan's cousin to show up. And we will teach him the ways of the great white hunter. We also need the deer to cooperate. How do you feel about this? I don't feel very good. It's very hot out. It's like 30 degrees like last time. I think it's 10 degrees. It is 10. It feels like 30. When you're hunting it does, yes. It will be like 30 degrees yes. to the deer. So. We're hoping one of these cows transforms into a deer. That or doesn't <laughs> find some antlers and tapes them on their head. We're that would be we're confusing. Hoping, we're hoping that big cow turns into a deer. Now, this is of critical importance. If you're gonna hunt deer, you gotta make sure you camouflage your blind with real 3D, real time camouflage. Good luck spotting that in the daylight, evening hours. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> so, the true test as to whether or not our blind is concealed enough or not is whether or not Jeff will be able to find us when he pulls up. If he spots us, we're just going to pack it in and go home. It's day 42, <laughs> and we still have not seen the unicorn. This elusive creature is on a killing spree, killing all the deer. That's why we haven't seen any deer. This, the Yeti was easier than the unicorn. That's true. The Yeti we only took us uh, 39 days. Yeah. And after 26 days in Grand Prairie, 42 days here. Once again, food supplies are dwindling. We're beginning to lose heart. We ate Henry. You notice yeah. he's not here anymore. Henry's gone. Yeah, he was... Uh, not a lot of meat on his bones. No. We're still playing rock, paper, scissors for who's next. We're in a tie. We're best out of 357. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna get some live footage of deer. You we're gonna settle the window. We're gonna settle for a deer this afternoon. Oh, yeah, I should get a good, nice panoramic view. There's some hay bales. So this is what we're looking at. It's a pretty nice, pretty nice spot. And. Need some animals to come out. But I'm sure one will. We got it. It is very warm today again. Once again. There's the trucks. Focus. Focus. Or don't. Bang. We have a visitor. It's G off. Some wildlife. buy our own property. Okay, yeah. rich man, get on it. <laughs> we have Hunting in plus 15. Is that what it is? In Aaron's sauna <laughs> of a blind. <laughs> well, how's it been going, Jeff? It's been going okay. Yeah? 
kind of wanted to kill a deer this weekend, so we'll see how that goes. You might. We'll, uh, if it comes out, you can have first shot. We'll play the waiting game. <laughs> Well, we let seven carcasses get away. Yeah, we did, Disappointment. Didn't. Disappointment. Slightly too eager. Yes. Running yeah. across the field. The, the problem actually, these guys didn't see it. The unicorn. The unicorn. He was there. I heard yeah. him. And the deer don't like the unicorn. No, and the deer actually don't like us. Because so they poke. When the they saw us, they ran. The unicorn pokes the deer with its <laughs> stick. <laughs> it's and stick. then they run away. With his unicorn. <laughs> It was disappointing. We saw seven deer at 800 yards, like you saw in video, and uh, we rushed it a little bit. We should have went in the hay rookie bales. Rookie mistake, right? Yeah. All rookie. those, I think, but you know, still. We'll blame the rookie mistake. Yeah. It was Jeff. We'll blame Jeff. G he was the one that told us what to do. We it was Geoff's over-anticipation. I don't think I made that call. But we said, we'll let you make the call, exactly. Jeff. Now he's back over eager. Totally. And uh, <laughs> they saw him, and that was it. He's, he's just too tall. That's the yeah. problem. It's hard to hide a big so guy yeah, in an open uh, field. Once we're within 600 yards, it's <laughs> <laughs> So we're disappointed, but we had a really good time. I guess. You know, we could have tried 600. that's all that matters? Yeah. I don't know. I, I think Aaron should have taken the 800-yard shot. I should have. But you know what? I had the camera, and I wanted to get some footage of deer, and I did. You shot deer with your camera. So yeah. today was a success. I'm converted. I'm going to sell the gun. <laughs> good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. This is videotape shoot. That's right. it. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, can't see you guys. One more kick at the can tomorrow, Jeff. One more kick at the can. Can you One. still see me? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. One more kick at the can. Okay. Tomorrow morning. My ride's leaving. We'll see ya. Well, we won't see you, but good luck. You'll see the footage. All right.